Hi everybody. I actually did this the other night when it was really dark out, but I uh, realized uh, you can't see anything. So this is my introduction. Basically I want to go over uh, the Skyguider Pro with this camera and this 200 millimeter lens. And I know there's a lot of videos uh, using the Skyguider Pro out there right now, but I, I'm, I want to be more specific with uh, this camera and this lens on here. Well, howdy folks, I'm out here uh, using the Ioptron Skyguider Pro and I am doing the Sadar region of space. There's a lot of good nebulosity there. I got some really good HA data uh, about a half hour, no, almost an hour's worth last week when the moon was out and now I'm doing it with uh, just regular color to put some color into it. I'm going to try this out. Just a couple of things I just wanted to go over real quickly. There's a whole bunch of videos using this thing, mainly from Trevor Jones of Astro Backyard and Peter Zelenka, who uses these types of mounts exclusively. Uh, one thing... Okay, just a couple of things I wanted to mention that Trevor or Peter may do or not do. When I used a counterweight, I actually, um, uh, Peter recommended wrote, uh, switching the way that Ioptron recommends and I did that for a little while but I I turns out I switched it back the way they recommend it and the reason is because my camera lens is a 200 millimeter lens and it's sort of interesting that I may or may not need the counterweight with it uh, I've imaged with it without the counterweight and it seemed to do okay so what I'm doing is I'm using the counterweight when I'm at home or if I don't have to travel on an airplane but if I have to go someplace further I, I don't think I, I may not bring the counterweight at all um, as I said I, I rotated it back to the way Ioptron recommended it because it balances better using that uh, uh, counterweight in that form but if you got a bigger really heavier weight then I would recommend doing what uh, Peter recommended uh, anyways uh, oh, and one other thing, when you're doing the normal color imaging, it's, it's pretty easy to focus in on a target. When I was using this with the uh, HA filter, I had uh, the uh, astronomic 12 milliliter HA filter, and you, you can't see stars with that thing. <laughs> you have to do a series of... Um, you know, five to ten second exposures before you even see something, and it was very difficult to focus. I couldn't use the live view here with a color, normal color filter. You can just focus in on something with a star and use the live view, but you can't do that with the HA filter. So be aware if you're going to use an HA filter with this uh, setup. Okay, that's all. All right, so uh, I'm back. You saw the nighttime shots when I was actually doing it. I like to do stuff at nighttime when you're actually filming the stuff so you can see any problems but as I said you can't see anything so here's the counterweight system the way Ioptron recommends I know Peter Zelenka recommends doing in reverse like putting this counterweight system over on this side and then this ball joint uh, ball head uh, over here but with this particular lens it's gonna work better in this orientation because there are some orientations where I gotta have a way up close to this and having it in this orientation gives you more leverage also uh, the one other thing about using the counterweight system this opens up the polar scope so you can at, using the counterweight you can actually do a polar alignment with the camera attached if I did not have the counterweight and I just had the camera and ball joint attached to the front end here you, you got to take you can't do the uh, polar alignment with the camera set up on it. Okay, okay, just a couple other things. When you're doing your adjustments uh, using the counterweight, make sure you absolutely have your hand on the camera. I think Peter mentioned this uh, because sometimes uh, things come loose and you don't want the camera just all of a sudden rolling over and, and possibly um, hitting the lens. Lastly, I have an uh, image taken with the counterweight set up of the Sadar region. And I also have an image of the Seagull Nebula without using the counterweight setup. That is, the camera was just attached to the front end of the uh, 
uh, SkyGuider Pro so you can judge if there's any difference. Anyways, I hope this helps and we'll see you later.